Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. You know, you sharing the videos, you're dropping comments like crazy. And sorry if I have not got back to them yet. I'm going to be going ahead and replying to everybody's comments that have been left on there for the last. 24 hours I've been you know really crazy getting things done for myself and you know just trying to clear clear my shifts and everything so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload a new video and if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content in my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you, you know, you truly want to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through a really dark place right now and need confirmation and validation towards their life, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated, and I'm ever so grateful. And I hope you're able to um, resonate with the content of my video. Um, today, uh, the meditation music that I'm listening to is uh, what is it clearing subconscious negativity 417 hertz meditation music for positive energy sleep meditation i will post that link in the description box below i've been really coming up on some good meditation music lately um let me see i got some stuff that you know came to me today um, I was out on my nature walk, and I started getting a lot of visions of a lot of empaths that are currently going through stuff. Um, but my video today is Hayoka's hey Archangels helping you, helping to assist you to the next level of greatness. If you have been like hearing Archangel Michael or Raphael or any of the you know the archangels you've been calling on you know because you're going through different things and you know it just seems like you're not getting breaks you you catching it left and right left and right left and right you know get calm for a minute and this stuff start piling up on you again you know you're going through all these different shifts you know i told y'all a few months ago or yeah i think a month ago that um i had visions of different empaths going through an intense spiritual awakening they're getting activated um God, universe, powers that be, whoever <laughs> is like, you know, they're prepping us. We're going through like a spiritual boot camp, going through all these different things, clearing our karma, uh, cutting cords with people. I've been, you know, I, I'm on Facebook. That's the only social media I have. And I've been cutting people out of my life left and right, you know, especially if, you know, I've been there for them. But, you know, it's just like they're, they're not there for me or whatever. You know, I send them with love and blessings. You know, I don't wish anything bad on nobody, you know, but it's just... I'm eating at my table. I'm not going to make, you know, just because of my friends with them, I'm not going to be an enemy towards them, but they're just not going to eat with me, put it that way. But, you know, going through all these different things, you know, you're, it's starting to help you show your worth, giving you that self-love. You know, the archangels are working diligently right now um, to helping a lot of people. You know, you've probably been calling on them a lot. You know, if you're going through meditation, you might have a vision of an angel that's coming by you or you might hear a certain name that you know that refers to an angel archangels and they're you know they're working like overtime right now because it's like the devil is busy right now okay <laughs> you know devil is really busy because he sees the things that are going on love is prevailing anyway we already know we're gonna win we're gonna come out on top but with things going on like that you know you're catching it left and right it, it could be your job it could be your children it could be your family you know your 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 significant other or you're on the verge you might be a twin flame relationship and things just keep you know going all willy wonka and everything just going crazy so it's just like be kind to yourself be gentle you know they're telling me all these different things i'm seeing you know um uh, uh, impasse like they're in a 
you know, like if you sit in a corner and, you know, like a little kid and you're putting your, you know, your knees up and you're just crying and you're praying. You know, I see a lot of y'all doing that. I was doing that over the weekend. You know, my dad's anniversary was going, I was going really, I was going through it. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to deal. I just, I wanted to just be able to release. I didn't want to put that energy on anybody. So I was just, I cut myself off from a lot of people. So it was like going through all these different shifts. And I know, you know, you get that sense of calmness that everything's going to work out fine for you. You get that sense. But then it's just like things will be thrown in your path. Like it's like a monkey wrench that's been thrown in a program, try to catch you off guard or try to throw doubt in your system. You know, ego is trying to work crazy with you right now. And probably bringing up past incidences that you've went through that you're just trying to part with, you know, let go of. But, you know, ego keeps bringing that up. You know, the thought of a memory of a painful situation keeps coming up even though you're trying to let go of that it's okay as long as you don't put emotion in that memory you know you don't dwell on that memory or you don't have it shift your energy it's like it's trying to release itself but don't cling on to it you have to just like I told y'all before when y'all had them bad memories just let it pass it's just like if you you, you know you're in a, in a store and you smell somebody with some really bad body odor you're like ooh. You know, just let it go. <laughs> just let it go past you. And, you know, you have to treat your your memories like that. You know, it's just, you know, you have to part with it with love, actually. Part with it with love. But don't engage in it. You know, it's just like if it's coming up, it's trying to clear. You know, and I, sometimes we have a bad habit when things come up and you can get triggered. And all these different things is coming up to you. You're just like, I can't deal with this. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I was okay yesterday. And then bam, next thing you know, something else pops up. You know, you're going through these things. So it's like being patient with yourself, knowing your, your, you know, your aura is trying to clear itself. So if these bad memories are coming up to you, you know, even people probably from your past are starting to come back or, you know, people that you thought was cool with you, they, they're coming at you sideways. And that's when you need to let them go because, you know, God and, you know, uh, universe is trying to give you a spotlight on people that need to not be in your life. You know, and you're like, gosh, you know, I was friends with this person or, you know, you're starting to see their true colors, you know, and I mean, it's just like me. I, sometimes I just cut people out of my life and I don't even give them an explanation. Just like uh, we're getting too old for me to have to explain how you need to treat somebody. If I didn't come at you like that or treat you like that, please don't do that to me. <laughs> you know, so it's just like I, I just say peace be with them. You know, I hope they get whatever they need to get throughout in life and they heal from wherever they need to heal from. But I got to go. You know, so it's just like I'm knowing my worth. You know, I know my boundaries and stuff like that. But it has me like, you know, I used to pity pat, you know, around people and didn't want to hurt their feelings or whatever. And this, I mean, it's not, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings now. But if it's like, if I'm busy or I'm just like blocking myself from people's energy because so much energy comes towards me, especially people if I talk to them on a daily basis. If I'm going through something, I block my energy from everybody. You're like, Rosalind, did you pick up on this? No. <laughs> I didn't because I don't block myself off from everybody, you know, because if I'm going through something, I don't need nobody extra energy coming towards my way. It might throw something off when I'm trying to clear myself. And just like I don't want to be able to do that to somebody else. I just don't. So what you're going through this knowing is, is, is clearing your purpose. So I see a lot of y'all going through that. You know, I went out in nature and um, it was like I haven't been out for the last couple of days and I was getting cabin fever. I said, you know what, let me go ahead and go out and walk and, you know, see what nature has to tell me. You know, I, I love when they, me and nature have this, got this bond, <laughs> you know, where we, we sit here and talk. And, you know, I've been getting all these different visions where I see these big, beautiful angels coming down and, you know, sitting on top of people's houses. And they're, you know, trying to comfort, you know, these empaths, these people that are truly needing help right now. And it's like, if you. Whoever, whatever situation you're doing, you're going through and you might hear a name that pertains to an angel, call on them. You know, they're there for assistance, you know, but everything is free will. You have to be able to, they can't assist with you unless it's like a life and death situation. They can't intervene on that unless you call on them. So if you're feeling stagnant on certain things, call on them. If you feel like there's things that you're worried about stressed about because if you you know if you prayed about it and you say God I'm really trying to get towards this or whoever you, you worship I'm trying to get towards this you know this is the things that I need to do leave it at their feet and I have a bad habit of doing that because especially when things get stressful I'm like look God you know look I'm tired of dealing with this and you're like hey we got it we got it but you got to be patient 
you know, and I know you're ready to give the side eye because it's like certain situations will make you want to stress out and, you know, go towards that microwave dream. Like I told y'all, those microwave goals, you don't need those. Because if we're all up in a hurry for different things, you never know. God is like, you know, God and universe will put us in certain situations and you get upset because it didn't fall through. That was maybe a storm you were about to head into because you were just trying to be in a hurry. So you got to wait until divine timing for things to come towards you when they truly need to happen. So, you know, pray up, meditate, get, um, uh, get, get where you need to go. Um, on your level, on the things that you're elevating towards, you know, if you know there's some dreams and stuff you're heading towards, don't lose focus because that's what darkness is trying to get you to do. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video. Stay prayed up, y'all. Meditate if, when you need to, you know, as much as possible. Um, I'm going to give my uh, post notification shout out to Top V Trending. Um, with the V as in Vera, you know, he has his own channel. So if y'all can go over there and show him some love, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, show them. I don't know if it's him or her, but you know, whoever they are, they, I mean, they've really been, uh, dropping comments like crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show some love and support towards their way as well. Amber G and Donald J. So like, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line and let me know what's up with you. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe week. Um, I will be doing some more videos throughout the day, but I, I apologize, y'all. It's been my videos have been uploading like in a big gap, but if they're like 15 minutes long, I don't know why. With YouTube, it takes about four or five hours just for them to finally upload. So it took two days just for me to do those seven videos. So uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line. I would love to hear your feedback on the video. You know, if this resonates with you, you know, y'all, I'm sending uplifting vibes towards you, encouraging vibes and loving vibes and comforting vibes as well towards your way. And, you know, drop me a line so I can give you a shout, uh, shout out on my next video. Share, thumbs up, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Oh, yeah, know that you were truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for you for better days. And so much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you later. Much love, peace, and be wild.